Hi guys, Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints with some fantastic software to show you guys. Um, it's called Luban. I was very lucky. The guy that owns or created the software has given me a year's free license to have a play around with it. And you know what? I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not very good with the creational side of things, as you guys are probably aware. I, I don't design an awful lot of the stuff that I print. Most of it I get off Thingiverse, etc. But this software, within the space of 10, 15 minutes, has allowed me to create something and have an STL that I can print straight away without hardly any... Um, hardly any difficulty at all. I had a couple of minutes of playing about with it and I'd already figured out the basics on how to do this bit. Don't get me wrong, the, the software does an awful lot more than this, but just the 2D to 3D extrusion bit took me, you know, less, less than 20 minutes to get all up and running. I absolutely love it. Um, anyway, I'll show you the, the video of me making it and I'll show you what I've made afterwards. And guys, I know I keep saying this, but if you do like my videos, give me a thumbs up. It always helps me to know that uh, you guys like what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Drop me a comment as to what you did or didn't like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and tick the bell icon so you get notified when they're about. Cheers, guys. Here's the video. Right then, guys. Uh, this is a quick video uh, to show you some new software that I've come across called Luban. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I did a 3D printed artwork of a, a Hot Wheels car. Well, as it turns out, that was created using software called Luban, which um, the guy that actually created it commented on my uh, on my video and let me know what he was using. And the the creator of Luban software got in touch and actually gave me a year's free license to have a play with the software. And you know what? I absolutely love it. Are you guys are probably aware I'm I'm not a very creative person. I don't make an awful lot of the stuff I print. It's mostly things from Thingiverse. But with this Luban software, I've been able to create some pretty good stuff so far. And this is just a quick video to show you guys how to make a 2d image into a 3d printable object really easily so this is it and this is how it works so this is luban uh, fairly standard interface for most stuff if you go ahead and click on file and then create and then photo magic there you then got your menu at the side here with all your different various options you've got extrusion which is what we're doing today but there are other options if you make a cutter uh, morphing requires two separate images but i i'm desperate to have a play with that i've seen some really really good morphing effects on the luban forum which i suggest you all join us on facebook just do a search for luban uh, and you'll find it i'll also put a link in the description to the software and to the forum if i can remember to to do it and you've also got a pillar which i haven't messed about with too much at the moment but we're doing an extrusion for today so select extrusion and then click browse now i've done a very basic 2D, um, it's just a JPEG, uh, heart shape with I love you in the middle because it's Valentine's Day soon and this is going to win me some brownie points with the missus, that's for sure. Um, open that. And then you've got this. Now this is not exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, there's lots of different settings. This is set to support void and what I want is actually concave arc. So. We've changed the support to concave arc and that's it there look at that how amazing is that that's just come straight from a 2d image i've not had to design anything i've not had to use fusion 360 or tinkercad or, or any of the other popular bits of software to create that that's just literally a 2d image that was done in two seconds in photoshop or or paint or whatever it is you use and suddenly it's a three-dimensional image i find that absolutely amazing um yeah so there it is anyway <laughs> i still can't get over how amazing that is that is wicked um you've got various settings to play about with the software um up here is obviously your uh, model size is your x and y which is pretty self-explanatory now your extrusion here is also um how far it extrudes off the actual base now 10 is where I, i'm leaving it but i'll show you what happens if you up the number you turn that sideways it looks like a pair of binoculars now it's sticking out that far off the page um but yeah obviously depending on what you're doing depends on how far you want to you want it to extrude so for me 10 is fine elevation is pretty much the same thing but instead of the top bit increasing in size the base does so we'll change that to 100 and there you go look and that's what that does but again 10 for me is perfect so there we go uh the elevation angle is really important this is how far it comes off the the base so if you set that to zero that's what you've got a basic very flat design which is very cool as well i really like that too uh, but for me i want a bit of elevation to it so the more you up it the more it sticks on the page and that's that's as high as it goes nine 
uh, but to do that you obviously need to print some supports here because that wouldn't work otherwise so but for me I'm happy sticking with six I think yeah six is fine um, and then the bottom here which is what I changed in the first place these are your various different support options for your text and your um, the heart itself so concave arc which is the first one gives you that kind of if you can see it there that's your concave arc there if we change that to a convex arc it goes the other way again a very cool finish I quite like the back of this one to be honest that's quite cool I do like that uh, and then you've got triangle which yeah, it, it gives the, uh, the supports inside a little bit of a different uh, thing but I think I prefer the other one and then you've got vertical which makes everything stand up a little bit more I, I must admit I don't like that one as much for this particular thing I quite like the curvy finish and then void which is what we were stuck on in the first place which you need an awful lot of supports for <laughs> so for me no good so we'll go back to uh, concave arc I think for this one I quite like that it's quite curvy um, and then you've got base thickness here which obviously uh, well let's go to this one you've got base shape which you change it but it's a rectangle at the moment you've got rounded which gives you like rounded corners which is quite nice uh, pentagon obviously a pentagon hexagon obviously a hexagon and circle obviously a circle so I mean they're all quite nice depending on what you want to do it gives you a different finish um, I'll leave mine as a rectangle for now the rounded rectangle might be a good idea to save lifting off the bed without having to use a brim but anyway entirely up to you uh, base thickness here this is how thick the base is obviously <laughs> self-explanatory um, I'm leaving it at two but you can up it or if you're doing something like a pedestal for something you can make it quite large you know <laughs> a, massive, a massive thick cube of a base or whatever you wanted but I say for me two mil is fine um, and then keychain hole this one's quite good if, you, if you've drawn something you want to make into a keychain you just put one down there I'll see if I can find the keychain hole now if I'm underneath somewhere. Oh, there it is. Let's zoom in a bit. That hole there is because we've got keychains on. If we change that to zero, that'll disappear. And then you don't need the key, or if you again increase it, you could have more than one entirely up to yourself. But that's it. From, from a 2D image to a 3D printable object in literally a, a, a few minutes is absolutely crazy. Um, now, now you've got your design finished you obviously want to export it into an STL format so you can just stick it straight in your slicer which is very easily done you can save the model as it is if you're not finished and you want to add more to it or do something to it later just click save model if you're happy with it and don't want to save the model just click on file go to export and then obviously you want an STL so click STL um, I'm going to call it heart I've already got one saved for me that I was messing about with so I'll just overwrite that one click on that or type your name in down here and click save and that's it saved so then you go over to your slicer this one here I use Cura click file and open files find the heart that you've done there that one there open and that's it look at that 3d printable object just like that no messing about no hours and hours of work just a few minutes and you've got a two-dimensional drawing into a three-dimensional printable object i absolutely love that so i'm going to print this now and then i'll show you it when it's finished afterwards and you can see what you think all right guys thanks for it hope you like my video thanks guys Right then guys, 
here is the finished article and look at that isn't that amazing the fact that you can turn a 2d drawing extrude it out and turn it into a fully printed 3d item i absolutely love that and it was not complicated at all as you saw from the video just a couple of clicks a few parameters to change that, to your own preference and that's it you've actually got something physical that you can hold in your hands that's come from a 2d art absolutely amazing honestly I, I love this this is this is amazing the wife loves it as well it's got me some brownie points as well i know it's not quite valentine's day yet but you know what i'm like when i print something i'm, I'm very uh over excited about it and i can't i can't keep it <laughs> i can't keep it a secret but yeah that's absolutely wicked so that was the luban software i'll put a link in the uh description down to where you can get the free trial from um yeah and that's it guys if, if you like my videos you like what i'm doing i know i've said it before and i know i say it at the beginning of every video but give me a thumbs up honestly it really helps me to know that you guys like what i'm doing if you don't like it give me a thumbs down because again it helps me to know that you don't like what i'm doing any comments you guys give me positive or negative i read them all so i really appreciate that and if you want to see more subscribe and tick the bell icon so you get notified when my videos are about thanks for watching guys have a good one